What is going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great Thursday. Bobby Fi here for my five and five, my top five plays of the day. And as you can see, it's going to be a little different with baseball and basketball because we're going to be talking about game stacks and things like that. Let me know what on in the True DFS support channel what you guys would like the most. We're making a lot of great changes to the site with the partnership with SaberSim and everything. Things are really going along. So let us know what would be easiest for you guys to see. And um, in terms of the five and five, in terms of anything, and we're happy to make it work. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Discord channel if you haven't. All that said, let's get into tonight's slate. Um, so let's let's talk about this for a minute. Um, the we know that unfortunately the the chalk stacks do stand out the most. So I do have the the Dodgers, Col Col Chicago, Colorado, and then KC as a pivot stack. I don't mind if you want to mix in some Detroit or any of the Toronto uh, the Toronto New York game because I think those are the other spots that I would try to go after. But it is going to be hard to get at least you know a good portion of my lines without some of these guys in there. I really like the Dodgers. I'll take them over the other sides. And I think you can get lower ownership if you do a wraparound stack, which is what I'm planning to do with the Barnes, Lux, uh, Bellinger. At least it gets a little bit lower owned. And then maybe you can find some other low owned plays to get elsewhere. I'm currently taking stabs with the Colorado, doing like two mans, uh, some three mans, but mostly I'm probably going to be off of that um, as a stack, as a full stack, just because of the ownership on a slate like this. And I don't think you necessarily need to fully stack on a five game slate. So that's what I've got for right now. It's a little different on FanDuel. I mean, I don't like the other stacks that are starting earlier. So I have the same thing over there, um, but that's that's just sort of the stacks I'm focusing on. I could have put them at the top, but um, I just started with the pitching. I, I will be Bueller, Tani, Musgrove, Bueller, Morton on, on DraftKings, Bueller, Morton on FanDuel. I'm not saying I won't mix in a guy or another guy or two, but those are my current plans to build that way, uh, especially because I want to use the cheap lower owned Dodgers and we have plenty of value in Colorado and Chicago already anyway. So I don't think I need to worry about spending down or how long my guy's going to go because paying that extra money is I'm not, I don't feel like I'm sacrificing much in terms of uh, lineup construction. And then basically the other plays are the same for me on both sites. Uh, Trout, Judge, Betts, Turner, I think are, that's Trey Turner. Um, I think are your, your spend ups on DraftKings on FanDuel, Trout, Judge, Bet, Soto. Uh, I, I, I like the idea of getting Trout at maybe a little lower ownership because of the Colorado game. But again, then again, it's a five game slate. How much can he really, how little can he really be owned? And I think the Dodgers will be popular as well. So they're all fairly popular plays, but I am leaning more on the Dodger side, like I said, in the wraparound stack. And I might do the wraparound stack without bets, but I probably will have one of Bets or Turner in all of my Dodger stacks. Uh, then we've got uh, Bobby Witt. Junior, uh, we've got Frazier, Clint Frazier, uh, Connor Joe, Randall Gritchick, Cody Bellinger, all sort of in a similar enough price range. Uh, I think Bellinger will be the lowest owned. That's what I'm going to be doing. The other guys obviously stand out as being really good plays for their price. I'd, I think Bellinger and Witt end up as the two lowest owned. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. But I do like Frazier, Joe, and Gritchick quite a bit. It's just, I mean, for the price, it makes perfect sense if you're playing cash games, play those guys. But for tournaments, I, I do want to get a little bit off of that shock. And then we've got, um, for some reason, we've got an accidentally an, an extra thing here, which I'm going to delete as we are on air here. Um, but I accidentally had my old ba basketball one up there. But Merrifield, Bryant, Cron, and Muncie, now they're all similarly priced on DK. Similar enough on FanDuel. I think these guys are really strong plays, and I have them ranked the way I like them as one-offs. But I think Muncie is a phenomenal part of a Dodger stack. Uh, those walks and, and everything don't, you don't want a ton of them, but like, if you can get the bomb in two walks and two other runs scored separately from the home run, like it, it does add up, especially on FanDuel, but that's who I have in the mid tier. I will be live at six Eastern. This is going to be a quick five and five, but guys, I hope, I uh, hope we can get this at, at MLB season kicked off. I've had some good days and some really a lot of not so good days, but uh, it should be getting better uh, as we find out more. And again, I always say, you know, be careful with the bankroll early in the season. A lot of things change that maybe we haven't caught on to yet. So let's make some money tonight. I'll be in the Discord all day uh, for True DFS. I'm Bobby Fies saying good luck, everybody.